Yes, it's just a, a mood of uh, you know, encouragement. Whenever you find a photo, uh, a photo really good, please clap hands. Can we go ahead? <laughs> okay. large gray, uh, gray babbler. I mean, I'm sorry, I don't have the original pics, so I'm showing it from my Instagram. <coughs> this is the balloon, uh, water balloon uh, blast, and this is the king, I call it as. Anyone, any guesses? <coughs> Moon. Yeah, done. Thank you. Can I have the lights on? Good afternoon, everyone. Good, Good afternoon. afternoon. I'm a wildlife photographer. Maybe with the formals on, I don't think I might look like one. Uh, I would have to come on, no, can but uh, The objectives of CC7, uh, along with you people, even I heard it for the very first time. So forgive me if I go, uh, no, I won't go wrong. Photography is an art, is what I feel. When I hold the camera in my, uh, when I stabilize the camera in my uh, left hand and put my hand on the shutter, with my right hand and put close to my eyes and see an object. It has to be three ways that I can click it. My heart, my mind and my hands. But trust me, I can only capture a real image. I can capture the life movement only if all these three, my heart, my mind and my hands come in coordination and play in tandem. Until and unless I cannot click a good picture. It's always been, uh, photography has always been one kind of passion for me right since I was born. I used to cry a lot. I used to trouble my mother a lot. So what my mother used to do is, she used to throw uh, photos. I mean, this is what my mother told. She used to throw photos and she used to like, go look, look at them. So it was her marriage pictures, her engagement, my sister when she was born. I used to randomly look at all those pictures and this became a habit to me. So every time before I actually had dinner, lunch, I had to see photos and only then so maybe my mother was made responsible uh, you know, for me to actually start photography. And now what else I can do? Going ahead in photography, continuing this as a passion, I wanted a good camera. Now, I went to my father and asked, Dad, I'm good at studies. He said, oh really? <laughs> <laughs> he said, so what? I said, I want a camera now. Which camera you want? I said, I want a DSLR professional camera. Trust me, I was in my seventh grade then. <laughs> he gave a weird look at me and said, OK, <coughs> let's get this. <coughs> seventh grade, I go ask my father a DSLR camera. And trust me, he buys Motorola L7. You remember Motorola L7? <laughs> <laughs> he buys that and says, first click pictures with this. And if I like the pictures, I'll get a DSLR. I said, OK, fine, I'll do it. I started clicking pictures, some random pictures. I, 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 click, I used to click flames, I used to click candles, I used to click whatever is played on the TV. Some random pictures I used to click and my father didn't like it at all. My father was so fed up, so bored of my pictures that he actually pulled the Motorola L7 and when I was in my 10th grade, gave me double one, double zero mobile. <laughs> <laughs> so bored of it. And there's an incident. When I was in my 10th grade, Fable, right? And I was not that kind of a person you know, who used to like cry and say, oh, I leave my friends and I'll go hug them and all. They were like playing pranks. And we had one uh, class teacher who, is, who used to trouble us a lot. So we decided, okay, let's play a prank on her. I said, okay, good. She was like completely decked up with the sari, you know, one-sided pallu and, you know, loose hair. And she, she walked in. She was, she was short, okay, I'm not being very racist or something like that. She walked in and uh, we were like, ma'am, ma'am, one photo, one photo, one photo. She's like, yeah, yeah, please, please, wait, wait, wait. And she adjusted her hair, you know, and sari and all. And then we like, okay, mom, go. It was night, by the way. I was like, go, yes. Thank you, mom. Then we kept our cell phone inside. It's like, after the entire fable, she walks up to us and she's like, where is the photo? Like, Which photo? Like, you clicked on the camera. No, mom, I didn't click any camera. I was scared. No, mom, I didn't click any. Show, show me your mobile, show me your mobile. 
She looked behind her, it was double one, double zero, but she didn't have any camera. <laughs> it's just a joke again. <laughs> <laughs> so photography for me actually started there, right from my birth. And then days passed by, my uncle got me a camera. And I started taking some random pictures in automatic mode, you know. Uh, and when you get into engineering, and especially after the uh, three idiots walking out, the passion in photography for me actually tripled. I mean, it increased exponentially. I said, bhai, I'll do it. I am one of the finest photographers that this world has ever seen. I am better than Paparazzi who actually clicked Princess Diana's picture in her, uh, you know, which was responsible for her death. I am better than him. It was like that confident. And I started clicking pictures in automatic mode. You have something called as automatic mode. And I started clicking pictures in automatic mode. <coughs> okay, I started clicking pictures in automatic mode. And uh, uh, that's when I realized automatic mode is not something that a real photographer does. So I started exploring the manual mode. That's when the research actually came in. What exactly happens? Now, I'm clicking a picture in the morning, 6 o'clock, evening, 6 o'clock, and afternoon, 12. What exactly is happening? I mean, what? How, the, how does the camera behave? And I'm standing absolutely down below this light with all the lights off. What settings I need to do? And I'm just move, moving aside, and this light is on the left of my side. Or I'm just absolutely standing beside a building which has got a shadow, which is falling towards me, which is falling the opposite of me. What exactly I'm supposed to do? What, what should be the settings? Right. That's when I decided, okay, let's understand what exactly it is. In mobile camera, for ex uh, no, uh, let's take this example of mobile camera, we don't get that. We don't get ISOs, we don't get apertures, we don't get shutter speeds and all stuff like that. But when you go for a camera, DSLR camera, we have a lot of things like that. Now, there is something called as ISO. Very simple. ISO, aperture and shutter speed, all three are related to light. And in photography, apart from heart, mind and uh, hands, one of the most important thing is your light. So ISO is something which is which tells you at what particular temperature, at what particular uh, you know light conditions, what, what ISO should be set. Now I'm clicking a photo at say very harsh light, which is midnight, I mean which is afternoon 12 o'clock. Right? I need to have an ISO which is very low, which is mild, which gives me a picture which is of very low noise. Right. We see a lot of noises, bl uh, no, blur pictures and all, right? That is because of not having proper ISOs, shutter speed and aperture. So at 12 o'clock, say for example, I have a uh, ISO at 150, 100, 200, 400 max. 400 is advisable at 130, 2 o'clock. You have this and click a picture, you get absolutely right pictures. But now say you have aperture which is set at f115 or you know f16. Then you have a lot of light you are allowing into your camera, which shouldn't be the case when you are actually doing it in the afternoon. So you sh shorten the hole, the aperture that the lens allows the light to enter <coughs> and capture the object. So you have at f6 ISO 200 find a shutter speed at say 1 by 10 or 1 by 15, you get the perfect picture. Trust me. You could be a photographer and you should actually pat your back saying that, okay, look, I can do this. But if it is in low light, then you go for aperture. I mean, you go for ISO, which is 800. And you go for aperture, which allows a little more light, say 10. And then you allow a lot of, I mean, you give a lot of time for light to enter. So you have higher shutter speeds. Now, higher shutter speeds only mean that lesser the seconds. So lesser the seconds, you go for one second, two seconds, five seconds. But when you're clicking at the lower seconds, what you have to do is use a tripod for stabilizing. Now if you click here with a 5 second speed, for 5 seconds I cannot have hold my hand like this. It would obviously shake. So you would actually end up taking a blur picture. So you put it on a tripod and just click the shutter with the object in hand and after 5 seconds you would see a beautiful image. Now that's when you see light painting happening in photography and there are a lot of other adventures happening in photography and say you know photography is one of the finest art. I would like to conclude saying that when heart, mind and hands coordinate, we actually click art. And lens behind lens is definitely not a false statement. The lens that is in my hand and the lens which is in my eyes have to coordinate for a better photography. Thank you.